Okay, so today we're gonna do uh, do the injector replacement. Uh, I've already had the injector out once. Uh, tried to get the thing uh, cleaned up as best I could. Tried to get the thing working again, but it's still leaking. So, uh, as I showed you in the, a little while ago, uh, that the uh, the um, that the uh, exhaust port was filled with oil so it's kind of a sign that the injector is leaking so we'll go ahead and pull these lines off um, if I can get to it and then uh, pull the rocker arm back pull the hold down boat bolt and then uh, hopefully the injector will come out easy this time considering I already had it pulled out once so I know how to do it I think This is awfully hard to do on the... I see some YouTube videos, they, they put it, uh, they have the engine completely out, or just sitting on the ground. Just a spare engine or something to be used for a generator. But I didn't want to pull the hood off this thing because I can't move the tractor inside because this thing's got absolutely no power. That. So this is a 9 16 9 16 12 point. And the rocker arm will just pull right back, hopefully. There we go. And there's the injector. And now we got the hold down bolt, which I believe is another 9 16 except I can use a 12 point. So for me, I tend to try to use 12 point for everything I can. There's a little hold down. Then you gotta pull the rack back and twist the injector out somehow. Just to disengage it from the rack. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then the uh, injector just kind of pulls out just like that. There we go. So that's the uh, old injector. You can tell it's. That's the new injector. Brand new shiny one. And then it goes in similar. The rack engagement is the hardest part, or I think at least. Oops. And, uh,
There we go. Wow. Okay, so that went in. So if you try this yourself, you're not going to get that lucky. That was that one made me look good. So you know, we put the hold down back in. Oh, we make sure the rack moves perfect. You know, clean. So we can see that. That looks that looks good. And we put the uh, hold down back in. Not like that. There we go. That, that'll get torqued to 25 foot-pounds in a minute. Okay, now we're back with the torque wrench. So this one goes for 25 foot-pounds. go 25 foot pounds and then this can go back on the rocker arms okay Oops. make sure that doesn't invert there we go and then uh Rocker arm bolts. So the first time I put this thing together, back together, I ended up breaking off one of these bolts. I got lucky. All I had to use was a screwdriver because these are hollowed out and I was able to easily get it out. So I got lucky there. I ended up having to buy those things. I think those things cost something like seven bucks a piece. So they weren't cheap. And these, these ones we torque to uh, 50 to 55 for the 53 series. So I'm going to go 52 and a half. So the first time I got the wrong specs. I think I got the specs for the 71 and 92 series engines, which the uh, the torque values are substantially higher. They're like 80 or 90, I think. So I ended up breaking off. And I gotta get something to get those caps off. I should have taken them off. Go on. Oh.
So one thing I found online is these things are self-bleeding, these injectors, but I don't know if that's true or not. So we will have to see. And that injector's all been replaced. So now I can put the, uh, the valve cover back on and then uh, that's it. So uh, you know, we'll try to start it up today and we'll see what we get. Okay, so we're back. We're gonna try to start this thing. I got the valve cover all back on. I have intake off, but it should, hopefully it'll work. <laughs> Okay, that sounded better. So maybe uh, the thing didn't stay running. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, may, I might have to bleed the fuel a little bit to get that staying running. Um, it definitely did sound like it was starting to... It's, it sounded a little bit better. But, I, I don't know. It's The fuel pressure, I think, is a little bit higher. We'll try one more time, and then I'll pull the valve cover back off, and I'll try to see if there's... Uh, See, that time it almost sounded like it was getting ready to take off. I mean, I suppose it could be something else because I did have a lot of water in the line. that fixes it. I'll probably have to post another video to try to get this thing back up and running good at least. Maybe I need to add more fuel. Maybe I'm out. I don't know.